Hello guys, welcome back. In this Laravel video tutorial, we are gonna learn how we can create a simple and basic view so that uh, you guys can know about that how view how we can call the view and how we can pass the data and how we can uh, create the include folders and all the things. So let's get started with that. You can see that this is the welcome screen of uh, Laravel and if you still don't install Laravel you can see with the previous video here you can uh, learn everything step by step and in this video we will we will learn um, how to create a view uh, step by step so you can see that first of all uh, you can see that this is a very basic structure uh, this is structure of uh, Laravel and uh, for create a view you must have to come up to the uh, routes so click on the web.php this is the by default code which you get by the laravel and for the view uh, click on the resource then you will find a view folder views folder and here is a file this is the welcome.blade.php so what is the blade.php blade means uh, this is the extensions internal extensions of the uh, laravel and here we can call the many things the without php tags uh, we can call them directly uh, with the curly brackets so we will uh, learn about that how we can uh, do the code with the uh, inside the curly brackets and how we can treat the loops uh, but now we will just uh, learn the simple view so for that just create a one more file which is what we can call him new dot php so this is the blank by default so we can copy this code so that uh, we can save our time so let's delete the extra content if you want okay and you can create the if also so just write here new laravel screen page okay so now just go in the view and write here new you don't need to put the dot php or dot blade dot php anything else just write new and refresh your page so new you can see that we are able to access the page on the uh, by default root so let if you want to change the root you can just change it with the new and enter like that that's fine okay so now how we can pass the data so for that we can pass uh, this is a very simple way just create an array the uh, right name like you can write some text like uh, text mm -mm. and write whatever you want like sub subscribe my channel channel all right now just go your new new file and you can use the double curly brackets here then just write the dollar text refresh this oops you got something wrong here let me check yeah we got the wrong thing because we do not put the blade extension here so this is required without the blade extension the curly brackets will not going to work all right now just come here and you can see that okay so we can just remove our previous text subscribe my channel all right guys so now uh, just learn one more thing how we can pass the data from URL to our page? So 
with that just write here some right uh, uh, name all right and we can call the name and we can write here dollar name and we must have to pass this name to our uh, anonymous function all right now just write here dollar name i'm going to write here something like sam so you can see that this data is here and yeah everything is working so all right so now uh, one more thing that, that uh, we have to know that how we can create or the include folder so just go here mm, go to the view write a folder like block all right yes so now just create a file whatever you want to write like block dot mm, 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 blade dot php so i am going to just copy this code here we can we can uh, do it without the code also if you think that we are not able to call the code without uh, copying copying this code uh, because I, I just copy this this code because it have the great style also so just write here something like internal internal block all right so now just come here and we can remove this this is not mandatory for now and right here block dot block it will call with the we can make it the by default URL oops so what's wrong with that let me check uh, so let's just try to pass here new Working now. Is it not working? Oops! I have just passed a wrong parameter here. No. Okay. See with that. Okay. So now I think we we are able to call this block dot block. Yes. Why we are not call able to call the new co uh, new function because there is a variable which is come from the URL and now this is not come on that this page because we just delete the id from here. So you can see that we are able to access this page also. So if you co copy this, it will look very nice. Internal page. So yep now it's looking nice so this is the basics about the view and how we can include the header and footer and more uh, internal files and all so for that uh, just watch the next video here we will do all these things with the with the template video so because it need a new video so that so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you have any query just put in the comment box give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks guys thanks for watching